Dr. Kamaka? Yes. We're ready to induce? Inducing. There it is, so heavy head, reduced palpebral. Can you really try it? Reduced jaw tone. Definitely reduced laryngeal reflex. If you can pull the tongue out, then they're ready to be intubated. If they struggle for their tongue, then they will need the more anesthesia. Can you see okay? Um, so the palate's in the way. We're seeing, popping it off. And there's the epiglottis. Let me see if I can get it behind mm -hmm. it here. I can see it. There's the retinoid cartilages. Also see condensation in the tube, and you can barely hear that she's making little coughing sounds, little puffing. Those are both good signs that the tube is in the correct place. The tube tie is placed after the distance measurement is taken. The tube tie is slid all the way to the back of the tube before it's tied behind the ears. Anesthesia. Start with 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 anesthesia. Start are lubricated. I've got my pulse ox on. I need to now make sure that my tube um, isn't leaking. So I'm going to give her a couple breaths and have uh, my assistant smell for a leak in the isoflooring or smell for isoflooring. Okay. And breath. Will you pull her tongue out, please? Breath. Rate. Oh, we have 48 for respiratory rate. Thank you. Oh, great. She's slowed down a bit. That's good. Um, I don't know how to get the other things. Don't worry about it. Her CRT is less right than two. SPO2 is 97%. Oh, okay. And then we have not to have blood pressure yet. So okay. 20. What time is it? All right, so I'm going to... Three, it was 355 to start, her. and it is now 358. Okay. Plane so of anesthesia. She's got one eye that is rotated rostrally. Mm -hmm. The other one isn't quite there yet, so we're just going to give her a little bit before we go to flip her. We're going to make sure all our monitoring equipment is working.
Okay.